We have a world in desperate need of healing. And I think there is an answer. Let's talk about it on this Monday morning. Good Monday morning. You know, there are some times in life where we kind of think, eh, maybe things are kind of a hot mess. <laughs> and there are other times that we know they are. I think this is one of those moments in life. And the world seems to be crying out for healing, for hope. And they're looking in so many places and spaces, hoping that a politician will rise to the surface and heal all our wounds. But do you know what I've learned is that someone did come to heal our wounds and that the problem that we really have is a heart problem and a sin problem, but no one really likes to use that word much these days. But we do have a sin problem. And as long as we have a sin problem, we're going to have a broken world. But the prophet Isaiah knew that someone was coming that could heal that hurting ache in the heart of each one of us. And he announced his arrival this way. He said this in chapter 61, as he described what Jesus would have upon his shoulders. He said, the Spirit of God, the Master, is on me because God anointed me. And this was a prophetic announcement for Jesus. He sent me to preach good news to the poor. Don't we need some good news? Jesus is that good news. He sent me to heal the broken hearted. Do you have a broken heart today? But there is a healer and his name is Jesus. Announce freedom to the captive. It says to all the captives, are you held captive by something today? To a sin of lust or your past or maybe to that substance that wants to control you. Jesus is the remedy to set all the captives free, to pardon all the prisoners. Are you imprisoned to something? He's got a pardon for you. Are you imprisoned to the shame of your past? He's here to pardon you. Do you know that when Jesus enters your story, it's like all your past is just completely gone. Even if somebody else holds it over your head, Jesus isn't going to hold it over your head. You're free from it. You're pardoned. Do you know what happens with a pardon? It's as if it never happened. Every right is restored. Every privilege is restored. It's just all given back to you. That's what Jesus does to our prisons. He pardons us. God sent me to announce the year of his grace, a celebration of God's destruction of all our enemies. You have some enemies? Do you have some people out there that would love to see your demise? Do you know that God can take care of all your enemies? That you don't have to fight that battle? And to comfort all who mourn. Are you grieving something in this season? Do you know Jesus is the ultimate comforter? To care for the needs of all who mourn in Zion, to give them bouquets of roses instead of ashes, messages of joy instead of news of doom. Aren't you tired of that news of doom? Yeah, well, this good book has a message of joy. A message of joy. A praising heart instead of a languid spirit. Rename them oaks of righteousness planted by God to display His glory. They'll rebuild the old ruins, raise a new city out of the wreckage. They'll start over on the ruined cities and take the rubble left behind and make it new. That is our portion. When we have Jesus in us, we have the ability to rebuild the old ruins of wreckage cities. That is our inheritance. 
So do you know as we enter a season of election where we're going to hear all kinds of things and the enemy's just going to try to use it to divide us once more, do you know what I look for? I look for that which will allow me to continue to declare the message of Jesus Christ because at the end of the day, it's Jesus plus nothing that can heal the human condition. That can bring the healing that this needs. So. When my opportunity to deliver that message is gone, that's the battle I'm willing to fight. I'm willing to battle the fight to make sure that I can always share Jesus with you on a Monday morning. Do you know why I know he's the answer? Because my hearts needed him to be the answer. And in the most painful places of my story, in the wreckage of a lost marriage, in the pain of never birthing children of my own, in the, the painful moments of betrayal and heartbreak and death and loss that I've walked through in my own story, Jesus has been faithful every single time. So I don't know what you're looking for. I do know what your answer is. It's the one who pardons the prisoners and sets the captive free and heals the broken hearts and brings bouquet of roses for ashes. Isn't that good news? In a moment that could really use some. In his name, his name is Jesus. If your heart was encouraged today, please know that we have many other resources available for you. You can discover all of those at reclaiminghearts.org.